day number two of testing. Na sto zogera foot going back there to test the car. Nzipanguru wadza, mese muno munguru wadza, muno majifo sizi kudonza kumote ya. Ya, iru kudonza, but matai macha iru kushua, I'm not happy with those times. So what we decided to do, we have changed my springs, Westgate springs, we are using 7 pound, 7 psi spring, now we are, we have decided to ditch the 4 port, uh, we have decided to ditch the 4 port uh, boost control solenoid, initially I was using a 3 port and then I upgraded it to a 4 port, I made so much more power but uh, the boost is uncontrollable. <laughs> I need a manji, you know, to you know, to a worst time adjusting the duty cycle of the boost controller zero to 45 percent. There is nothing, it doesn't add any boost. But when I get to 45 percent, the boost spikes goes up crazy. Then I tune for that, and then I start to add boost from 45 to 55. There is nothing when it gets to 70 percent duty cycle of that wastegate the boost jumps like crazy so it's uncontrollable and i've decided not to use that four port uh, boost control solenoid we've decided now to use springs because springs are more predictable so i'm now putting a 14 not 14 15 pounds 15 pounds spring now we are going to generate so much power that we might actually fail to race that's my fear that's the other case that's the other issue uh, because I think we might actually fry the clutch because at that point I know we are making more than definitely more than uh, 800 newtons 800 newtons of torque so we'll see but at the same time we were able to rev all the way to 7000 rpm this time however it doesn't want to rev to 7000 rpm for some reason Maybe due to the coils, I don't know what it is. Maybe we may have to upgrade to some, you know, uh, better coils because with the coil pack that I'm using right now, I'm using five, uh, five, five milliseconds of dwell, um, and uh, I, I think it requires me to run something like eight milliseconds of dwell at six thousand rpm, seven thousand rpm, shienda Of which, at that point, um, you know, the engine cycle becomes shorter. And then that's when I sort of kind of get a, some kind of misfire because at uh, 6,000 to 7,000 RPM, I think at 6,000 RPM, your engine cycle will reduce to something like this. It will take the the auto cycle, you know, that uh, intake, you know, intake, 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 compression, and it... Compression and what? Remember, it's the science. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. All right. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. That's the. That is the cycle I am talking about. Um, it it will take less time, like something like twenty four milliseconds, of which uh, my dwell. I'm now increasing dwell to something like eight milliseconds, and at seven thousand, I think it might be less, something like seventeen. So, and also I'm on wasted, wasted spark. So what it means is that I'm firing coils, two coils at once. It's, the coils are not getting enough time. That's what I think. That's, that's what I think, my mental gymnastics, what, what I'm thinking is going on there. So uh, we may have to change those coils because I know RS coils are two milliseconds. Two milliseconds uh, in order to charge and fire a good spark, two milliseconds is good. Uh, even it, 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 it uh, as the 
auto cycle reduce i mean as the auto cycle reduces as more rpms come then that should be fine so that is the mental gymnastics that i'm going through here so maybe that is why we are having problems uh, uh at higher rpm but we should be able to rev to 7000 rpm and we should be able to make more power up there but we are now having a problem with the coils um so that's what we're going to be doing today later on today i'm going back to the track we're going to test and see what happens uh, with this, the, 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 the springs that we have. Um, but it's about rewards. Nema G forces. This, these are the tires that we are now using. Much bigger. I think I showed you yesterday. There's no need for me to go, go and talk about them. But yeah, that's what we are using. Bigger tires, much better grip. So yeah, let's see what, what happens. Yeah, don't wait a cold start. Right, here we go. Uh, fuel pressure, what oh, do I have? 3.2. Not starting. Hey, it's pumping on. Yeah. That's Ziman. Yeah, one more. I know why. I know why. Yeah, I know why. I know why. I know why. All right, so I know why. Um, it's the way that I wired my pump, so I am going to simply change a few parameters, get it to start. Um, da -da 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 -da. Gonna go to outputs, uh, parametric. Then we turn on the secondary pump when we crank. This is just for temporary. Right here we go. Right. Just let it warm up. 